Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, I wanna to talk about the upcoming release of LaunchBox 8.0. With every major release of LaunchBox, there are tons of improvements, new features, and bug fixes. 8.0 is no different. There is no definitive release date for LaunchBox 8.0, but if you wanna enable beta builds, you can always do that from within LaunchBox. Just go to Tools, Updates, and check Update to beta releases. Now, keep in mind that these are beta builds, there will be some bugs, and as new features are added, new betas are added, so you'll automatically be able to download the newest features before the official release. The first new premium feature I wanna talk about is the Chromium Embedded Framework within Big Box to view PDFs. Now, you are always able to view PDFs before in Big Box, but we can now use our controller to navigate these PDFs. So here I'm using the default theme for Big Box, but I did implement some of Garhard's minimal platform logos. You can download them over at the forum. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. We're just gonna go into my Super Nintendo section and we're gonna view one of these PDF manuals. I'll go into Aero Fighters and I'll scroll down to view manual and it'll bring up our PDF manual. Now you can zoom in and out. You're just gonna use your page up and down buttons. Make sure you have them mapped correctly in the controller configuration within Big Box. You can do it right inside of Big Box. This is a premium feature only. I'll scroll down a little bit here and then I'll zoom in. So you can zoom out and zoom in. If the text is too small and you can't read something, just use one of your page up or down buttons depending on how you have the map in Big Box and it'll zoom in or out. And to exit, just press your B button. The next improvement I wanna talk about will really benefit everybody in the long run. We've added community star ratings and retro achievements to the LaunchBox plugin API. So all of the community plugin developers have access to this and they can now implement these into their new plugins. There's already a ton of great third-party plugins on the LaunchBox forum if you wanna go check them out. They're very easy to install, but this is gonna be a game changer. And finally, I wanted to show off this awesome theme by Critical Sid. This is Eon MQ7. This is a preview for the new theme he's gonna be releasing very shortly. You can download the preview and it works really well, but he wants to add more features. So one of my favorite game views is the wall view that was implemented in the launch box a few releases ago, but we never had the ability to view videos within the wall view. That's all changed now in LaunchBox 8.0. Critical Sid's Eon MQ7 theme does support this. I'm gonna go into my Super Nintendo category and I already have wall view turned on. And as you can see, we have our video snaps or gameplay footage, whatever you downloaded, up in the left hand corner. You can also set it to play in the background, but I like the foreground a lot better. Now this isn't the only view for the theme. I just turned on wall view. You can always switch it up if you'd like to. Now I'm still using those minimal platform logos by Garhard over at the forum. I really like these and I definitely recommend at least checking them out. I will leave a link to this theme in the description. Now the wall view videos won't be available until you get a hold of LaunchBox 8.0 or you're using the beta of LaunchBox 8. So this is a really solid theme. He even added the weather plugin. If you look at the top right hand corner, we have the weather in my area right now. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. Keep an eye out for the official 8.0 release of LaunchBox. There's tons of improvements, lots of bug fixes, and some awesome new features. One other new feature that's being worked on as we speak is the implementation of Netplay within LaunchBox and BigBox. Now it already works in RetroArch, but to have some kind of interface within BigBox or LaunchBox to start Netplay from would be an awesome addition. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. And like always, Thanks for watching.